gonna demo Alien Skin Exposure. I've been shooting in my apartment, which sounds not glamorous, but if you're in New York, <laughs> if you have an apartment, you're doing well, that you can shoot in. So um, these ones I have, I'm doing now, are the most kind of that I, where Alien Skin really changed the images for me, where I couldn't use them before. And they became usable, where I wouldn't know where to go with them in Photoshop, where those presets that you have on the, on the left really give me inspiration to use these images in a way that I never did before. You know, I'm experimenting a lot in my new shooting space, and I, I think I would still discard things, but Alien Skin lets, opens up these new worlds for me. This is actually based on one of my presets that I'd made for a client before, the way I edited this. And I'm just gonna go through and show you how my, what my thought process was to arrive at an image that I really, really loved. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast, about 26, that's about right. Decrease the saturation just a tiny bit. And that gives me that little bit of pop and that slight kind of antique feel. So before and after, you see I'm getting rid of a little bit of that saturation and adding contrast. I, I used to use this color filter, but I actually now mess around more in the color saturation. I'm gonna take the reds up a little bit. That's gonna bring out her hair. Do it before and after. Just bring that little bit of red into the hair. The greens, because of the backdrop drop is quite green, I'm gonna drop that down a little bit. And again, it's just doing a subtle effect and add cyan. So I've, I've switched the background from being green tint. It's really gonna be very subtle. It, you're really taking out a little bit of the saturation in the background and adding it so it shifts over to a cyan. Tone curve, again, I'm not gonna mess around too much with the contrast. I'm gonna take the shadows maybe a little bit lower. So I'm leaving this contrast slider alone and again, my image doesn't die when I do this, and that's why I love this software so much. I get asked a lot about this split toning and how I use it. And again, with this, the key is not to overdo it. I'm gonna get the, for this, I think I really like the creamy highlights. Now, when I make the selection, it's so over the top. I would never stay here, but it gives me an idea of where this can go. So I want, I'm gonna do a couple of things here that I'm gonna select this shadow um, and that's gonna be zero. I don't wanna change what's going on in the shadows. I'm gonna, this, this yellow actually, I think it's interesting here. It's gonna, if I just remove some of that strength, maybe down here or so, I think that's, that adds a little bit of something. It adds the saturation, the highlights in her hair come out. I think that's quite nice. And the other thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom back out here. I'm gonna add an overlay. So I'm gonna just go here. And I think if I have something, let's see, these are obviously totally over the top, but I think I can do something, let's see, top. And I can zoom it, which already decreases it a little bit, and then change the opacity so it's just, I'm gonna go maybe to 22, something like that. So it just brings that little bit of interest in at the top, just that tiny bit, makes it look kind of ethereal, soft. And this is, Alien Skin is great for this kind of thing. You're not, you're not, um, you know, I can, everything I do, I kind of tend to dial it down to minus 14. This is something that would take ages in Photoshop. You'd layer some sort of light leak that you photographed in another shot and this, it just makes it really fast. So, I'll show you before and after. There was a preset, I don't even remember which one it was, that had this kind of feel, that gave it that dreamy quality. And I wanted to achieve that in my own way. Maybe that's just the way I do my personality. I, um, I like to, rather than using presets or actions, I like to do my own thing and um, you know, really put my stamp on it.